noticed all that excessive play in the steering, well, not in the steering knuckle, but in the axle stub shaft there. Um, turned out I had a bad wheel hub, which was fine. You know, pretty straightforward thing until it wasn't. I wound up having to cut through the hub to cut the actual studs and then air chisel them out back through the holes because they were rusted in there. That was a whole nightmare. Hopefully the other side goes better. Everything was kind of rusty, cleaned all that up. But the excessive play, I thought maybe there was bearings, but really it's just this dust seal here. And then there's another big dust seal on the end of the axle. Yeah, that one was fine, but really that one was the one that was bad. And then, because when I pulled the axle out, the whole axle was rusted to hell. Like it's been getting wet in there. If I'm gonna have to drain this front rear and refill it with fluid and check to make sure everything's not all rusted and corroded in there. My four wheel drive worked fine and everything. So hopefully it's not too bad. But so I wound up, I got this new Timken seal here. Uh, pressed it in, I have a little Harbor Freight bearing press thing. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of rebuilding the front of this because there's a couple good videos on YouTube already. I just wanted to kind of show uh, how to diagnose the problem if you were worried about having that excessive play in your front universal. All right, here we are back at my paint booth, also known as the trash can lid. Uh, here's my front stub axle. I took it all, I took it all down with a wire wheel and uh got it all nice this was rotted this was rusty to hell plus that's where that's gonna spin on that new seal so i don't want it to tear it up uh just re-grease this front thing with the uh grease gun you know if you got it apart might as well do it i like to take time and paint everything or even painting the brakes while they're apart uh but here's this here's the uh this is like the vacuum seal i think they call it for the automatic front uh locking hubs which broke of course coming out so i'm waiting on that to come in the mail um but i just knocked that on with a with a dead blow hammer all the way around and it went on pretty easy uh that was the expensive see i think these ones were like 30 bucks a piece and i think the ones the timkin ones were like 12 bucks a piece i forget i can put a link to the part numbers in the description well, i took time cleaning everything up you know while you got it i even painted you know, all the suspension under the truck, because that looked like hell too. You know, try to keep them nice. Just try to get you a video on so I get everything back together in a few minutes here. So give me, give me a minute. All right, so I slid the axle in. It's a little bit of a bear getting it seated back in there. You'll know because it's a little bit of a bear to get it out. Um, there's our new seals back there. I kind of slid everything in with, um, Put some of this blue marine grease around there and around on that seal and slid everything and just just kind of help everything. Uh, I got my new Timken wheel bearing here. I put never seize it. There's my dog. She's helping me out here. Put uh, never seize on those studs because these studs are just like a probably like a high car high carbon black iron and they they're the ones that they rusted. They rusted into the bores of these of these holes. I couldn't get the old. Uh, sorry, I couldn't see that. I couldn't get the old old one out. So I'm gonna try to help the next guy out. Put a little never seize on there in case I might be the next guy. Um, hopefully not. But it's kind of strange too. These Timken bearings, you know, blah blah blah, made in USA and blah blah blah. And if you can read it. They have a fastener. Korean made bearing inside so hopefully they live up to their name I kind of didn't really look and see what the warranty situation if anything is on them so you know hopefully it works out I'm gonna throw this on right now I need two hands for that is she old Rosie she's helping out painted the calipers painted everything gear and you know, just a quick spray paint job, freshen things up under here. There's my two inch leveling kit blocks. Those are just stock springs I painted silver a couple years ago. They're starting to rust again. Living up here in the Northeast, everything rusts, it's terrible. I had to buy a new one of these, destroyed this in the process of trying to get the old 
hub off. Not too bad. It was like 30 bucks from Ford. Surprisingly, they had it. It's friggin', it's actually Easter Sunday. I'm surprised uh, <coughs> these seals and stuff came from Amazon today. They delivered on Easter Sunday. It's nice for Amazon Prime. All right, let me get back to work. I'll come back and I'll show you when I get the, the uh, hub on. Because right now everything's still kind of loose. It's already way tighter than it was. Just from the seals holding it. But it should be really good once the uh, bearings holding everything together too. All right, give me a minute. All right. Or is he still giving me a hand out here? Look at that. I love seeing new parts. Are you being in the wing? Leave me be. Love new parts. Nice and tight. Timken bearing. Nice stack. These come with new uh, ABS sensor. I gotta run the wiring back for. Didn't get to that yet, because whatever. Um, so, one thing I wanted to address a lot of people seem to have a problem. Way deep in there is a circ clip kind of holds the whole thing together um and nobody can seem to have a way to get it out i have these snap ring pliers that are the kind you can swap to make them be inside or outside but they're blue point uh pr 34 as and they fit back there perfect they reach just long enough with just enough pull you know, see they spread pretty wide so you can get a circlip open pretty wide um so maybe you could probably find these used on eBay. I'm sure they're not that expensive because they're not really a, that fancy of a tool. Um, but that worked great for me. And honestly, I don't even know where I got these from because I've never bought a snap on tool in my life. Um, but everything's, everything's on. Looks great. Except for one nut. It has some boogered up. I don't know if I can do a little focus on it. it has some boogered up threads in there that I don't like. So I'm going to have to run to... Uh, my industrial supply house and see if I can find more of them tomorrow. This might be a pain in the ass, this is probably metric. Um, I didn't put a thread gauge on it yet. But, okay, let's see here. Proof in the pudding here. All new seals. Nice new bearing. Three to four bolts holding it on. And this thing is solid. That thing is not moving. Got my U joint greased. Probably take grease gun to a couple other things while I'm under here, and I got the wheels off. Got my master cylinder painted. Or, uh, not master cylinder, my brake caliper. Got the caliper carrier over painted. I kind of wanted to paint this because this is all going to rust, but it's also got like a real liberal uh, coating of like gear oil or machine grease or whatever the hell you want to call it. Well, I got another trick I wanted to show you guys. Dead blow hammer. I only have a two and a half pounder, I think. Two pounder. Not really heavy enough to do much because it's it's a bitch to get that axle seated back into the into the carrier. So I take it with one hand and I hold it. And I take my bunch big. I think this is a three or four pound maul. And then so you don't mar up the axle, you hit that. I even had to do it on the face of this because those studs didn't really want to go through, um, I don't know what you'd call it, I guess the knuckle, steering knuckle there, because I didn't really take as much time as I should. I probably should have taken a small reamer and cleaned out those bores that have holes, but um, it kind of escaped me. I've had this truck up on jack stands for three days now because every, every time I turn around, I need to order another seal or another part or something was broken. Ford didn't have anything, so. I'm still pretty surprised that Amazon delivered on Easter Sunday. I'm running out of daylight here. Um, I might have a chance to get, to, I might be able to get these brakes, everything back together. So maybe I'll make another video when I get all the brakes back together just to show you how nice everything looks all, all done. So I do have a set, I put on um, that one of them power stop rotor kits with the ceramic pads and the drilled and slotted rotors and I think the rotors were also cryogenically treated or some shit because I tow a lot of trailers with this thing and half of them are boat trailers with very questionable brake systems so I figured I'd put a nice set of brakes on the front of this thing and try to try to help if I ever got into a hairy situation in fact I'm trying to get this thing finished so I can go tomorrow to pick up a backhoe 
1970 Case 380 Construction King. So I can dig out this side driveway. It's turned into a mud puddle ever since they installed this convenient speed hump there when I fixed my water main. But that's another story for another time. Maybe I'll even make some back of videos once I start working on that. But, uh, all right. That's basically fixing your problem, though. If you had a, uh, thought you had a bad wheel bearing and a shit ton of slop in your, you know, stub axle like I did, I thought there would be a bearing out, out here somewhere in the axle to hold the end of that, but it's really not. I guess the hub really does all the work. And that, just that Timken seal and the sweeper does all the, all it can to hold this steady and it seems to be doing pretty good so still gotta do the other side but i might wait till after i pick that back hill up because this was a freaking kind of a nightmare um all right see you all right last video got all the brakes put on giant power stops on there these things are thick still work pretty good everything's painted ready to go wheel back on so I can get this thing off the jack stop making my neighbor look like a piece of trash uh, still waiting on my hub to come in a minute I think that's coming here in a day or two uh, I might just throw the half of the hub the cover part on there just so I could drive the thing tomorrow since I don't need four wheel drive tomorrow but that's the job done uh, good luck with it if you have the same problem I'm having all right don't mind the mess just took all the tools I've been using and threw them on my bench. But I wanted to show you the broken hub because this is another thing I did and I wasn't sure if it was supposed to happen or not. You know, you take your three bolts out and this hub's got like 175,000 I think is what my truck has on it now. It was hard to turn anyway, so nobody's probably maintained these things ever in their entire lives. But I take the three bolts out, you know, get my screwdriver in between, pry it out, and pop! Ah, oh, look, that came out. That's not supposed to come off. Because if you look, plastic gets old and shitty, and these clips break. Because, you know, Ford's in infinite wisdom let this whole entire locking hub assembly be held on by 10 or whatever, these plastic clips, like they were going to last for eternity. So now you're probably freaking out because now that thing's stuck in there. So what I did was I had to just destroy the thing to get it out, rip this vacuum boot off, then this plastic thing's just kind of free balling in there. That'll probably just fall out. And then um, you're left with this stuck in your hub. So what I wound up doing is I got a long screwdriver and I pried it, I think, between this and the stub axle. And eventually it worked itself out like a millimeter at a time until, you know, until you got it, get enough meat on it to pull it out. But it'll come out because there isn't anything else holding it in as long as you get that C-clip off. That C-clip will sit. It's, uh, Actually, never mind. You don't need the C-clip. That that holds the stub axle. Disregard that. This will just come right off. So, this thing's a mess. So, ordered some knockoff Chinese one for, I think it was 90 bucks shipped off. I can't remember if it was Amazon or eBay now. But, don't say Ford, but I'm sure it probably works fine. Uh, the Ford ones were retardedly expensive. And I just don't have the money to be spending on this stuff now. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But like I was saying, I'm probably just going to take this cap, throw it on the truck, three screws just to keep shit out of, out of the inside of the new hub uh, so I can drive this tomorrow because it's got to do work tomorrow. And that's the name of the game, keeping these trucks on the road is doing work, right? So hopefully all this helps somebody because a lot of the videos out there, you know, there's, there's a couple good videos that show you how to do the whole job, soup to nuts. But they must be on, you know, recorded uh, 10 years ago when the trucks were new and everything just magically just comes apart real nice and easy, you know, and they're not prying and beating on it. I'm out there using a damn fire hammer, trying to heat everything, cut it, grind it, you know. Let me see if I can find, I don't think I threw it away yet. Where, oh, where, oh, where, oh, where, maybe I did throw it away. Give me a minute. I want to try to find my... I'm gonna try to find the other um, hub that I had to cut the frig hell out of. So 
in case you have to do that, you can see what I did too. Ah, here it is, right here. Hold on, all right. Bring it over here in the lid. So this thing is in the truck, on the truck. Tires top, that's where ABS sensor goes. I get all the, all the nuts off the back, four nuts. Studs are still going on through there. I'm beating the hell out of this thing. Look at this thing. I'm beating the shit out of it. I got the torch out. I'm heating up the hub carrier, everything, because there's not a lot of meat really on these style hubs to rust in there and get stuck. So, last ditch effort, I was starting to go on the internet and shop for new steering knuckles. I thought I was going to have to buy a whole new steering knuckle. Last ditch effort, I, I also didn't feel like taking a steering knuckle off the truck because. I don't want to have to buy ball joints and stuff in case I ruin them picking it out because, you know, we on a budget this month. So this is what I did. I took my Otabo to cut off for you. It sliced. I got as close to the steering knuckles as I could, you know. I sliced right through it, right through it, you know, right through all four of them. So I cut, I cut through the studs. The studs are now free from the axle for the most part. And... Then what I had, let's see if I can find it. I had like, I had a chisel punch basically. Um, I kind of destroyed it in the process. If I can find it. This is a mess here because I've been just rushing through this, working on it when I can. Yeah, I can't find it. I think I have another one. Let me see here. So I use something like this. Um, I've been trying, I was trying to get it in between the, in between this and the, and this, in this like the spindle or the hub carrier, whatever you want to call it. But wound up once I got these slices cut, I put this, this in here. I actually took this on my disc sander. That's a hell of a tool right there. Put it on the disc sander and, and made this into a sharper point than that got it in there beat the fucking piss off of it eventually this started moving enough where i could get this in between the hub and, and the, the hub and the um, bearing carrier or spindle or steering knuckle i'm not sure what you want to call that other piece um eventually it worked itself out and even this was a bitch to get it off i'm sitting hitting it with that three pound maul you know it, it was a bitch you don't got a lot to work with there so in the process that's how i destroyed the uh that's how I destroyed that other splash shield, I think is what they call it. That little um, sheet metal dealy that goes behind the disc brake to keep dust off and water off, I guess, if you hit a puddle. So, yeah, this is a little bit of a nightmare of a job for me. Thank God I didn't pay somebody to do it because I had a lot of hours and then I'm trying to get this freaking hub off. I was getting ready to pull the whole steering knuckle off and throw this in my hydraulic press and see if I could get it off. And I still don't think that would have worked without cutting it up. But, um... It's weird because if even if you wiggle this like I had so much play you saw it in the video earlier how much play in here but this bearing actually feels pretty tight it doesn't feel that bad but I knew it was bad because I had the humming knocking I had a lot all types of noises coming out of that front axle it sounded like the tire was rubbing on the fender and I knew it wasn't but um so we'll see how it goes I'll take this thing for a ride tomorrow and hopefully we fix the problem I'll pick up this backhoe and it'll get on to the other side. So uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night, or maybe the next day. Who knows? All right, guys, party on.